happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on the KZ-1000 Mark II, AKA the Hemi Cuda of KZ-1000. This was a factory, limited production, limited edition model that was high, a high performance edition. These are really rare, and to find one in original, original paint, original 13,223 miles. This has been on display in the New England Motorcycle Museum here, exactly as you see it for a little while. And Gerard, one of our benefactors, decided he wanted to sell it, so it's up for grabs. If you look closely, you'll see uh, it's in remarkably good original condition with very low miles. Stunning original paint. Um, we just thoroughly serviced it, tested and tuned it to perfection, and it sold on a clear New York title with extensive service and I know it's, th This Mark II is an icon, substantially improved from the, the regular KZ-1000 and the Z1R. It came standard with the 28 millimeter Makuni carburetors, which are two millimeters bigger, a modified airbox, uh, tuned silencers, rebalanced crankshaft with bigger journals and more aggressive cams. The chassis was strengthened around the headstock and the steering drum, which was revised also. This bike is stock, aside from the addition of the K&N filters, the four into one exhaust, and the progressive rear shocks. Other than that, it's all it's stock. To give you an idea of what these are selling for. We sold one um, in, in a similar condition to this at auction it sold, uh, last year for eighteen thousand five hundred. If you go on to bring a trail, you'll see one of these sold March uh, of twenty-two last year for twenty-five thousand dollars. Um, this one's just been thoroughly serviced. The valves have been adjusted. New valve cover gaskets. Stay tuned. I'll fire it up and ride it for you. Uh, four new half moon cam and rubber plugs. Four new spark plugs. It's been gone through top to bottom. Upgraded Dyna ignition coils with new plug wires. Brand new battery, sealed battery. New engine oil and filter. The carbs were dismantled for a total rebuild. Clean and reassembled with new float bowl gaskets. Uh, the carbs were reinstalled and synchronized. The fuel tank was clean and flushed. New fuel line and fuel filters. Brand new tire front, brand new tire rear. Dismantled and rebuilt the front brake calipers. Installed the brand new front brake master cylinder. All new banjo bolts and washers. Dismantled and rebuilt the rear brake caliper. It has a new rear brake line. Flushed and filled the front and rear brakes with new brake fluid and confirmed proper operation of all electrical functions. It has new OEM replica mirrors. The throttle was lubed and the clutch cables were lubed. It was clean, polished, and waxed. It's a classic Kawasaki ready to ride our show today, 1979. I've got clean title in hand. Um, this is a rock solid, low mile example um, that if you want to put it to museum quality, you could. It's not perfect, but it's original. Um, starting at the front, it's got a little bit of pitting in the chrome. Um, the uh, uh, bolt that holds the axle on, it's got a little patina on it. Uh, it's got the, the, the registration sticker there. The tank has a, a little ding on it right here and a little blem in, in the, uh, in the uh, pinstripe right here. You could easily uh, have this little ding popped out. The engine cases here, the original black paints peeled a little bit. If you want to have some of this addressed, we could do it here for you. We charge $120 an hour for parts and labor. Uh, we're selling this for Gerard. He's selling it as is. If you want to do anything else, like paint the center stand where the paint's peeled off, uh, we could do that here. Uh, we just do it at a parts in a material basis. Um, one. Junior wanted to add a few things about this bike also. Yeah, guys, the one that we sold for 18.5 went for 30 minutes to a guy in South America that had a creamed fuel tank, and I'm almost certain it was a repaint, and it sold instantly for 18.5 with dock and ship. It was, it was, you know, 20 grand. But these are, it's unprecedented to find an original paint, Mark II. There's never been a paintbrush on this thing. It's original frame paint, original engine paint. I've never, I've never seen one with original engine paint still standing like that. It's remarkable. It's a total time capsule with the correct front fender on it, and it's full provenance with a clear uh, New York title. So if I, if I would wager this will go overseas, these are extremely hot. I, I was told to upload this to the uh, Japanese classifieds on Craigslist. I, I was told that. Uh, uh, there's a huge market for those overseas and we have some brokers that have already questioned us on the bike but it's going to go to auction and the, the high bidder will take it amen so. bid high bid off and uh we will not get another one like this anytime soon uh in the 13 years of doing this here in rockville we've only had one other one so um i, heard, I never even see these things come up i don't know what the production stats are but there weren't many this is the original saddle on this thing too isn't it unique 100 yeah, that's original saddle yeah I can. And the saddle looks mint did you uh open the seat up for the no no we normally um will put these through the detail shop and repaint the engines and everything in the center stand but uh gerard wanted it's to keep II. it stock Even alone it's a mark ii you know what i mean so what can you do uh just 
absolutely timeless styling. In this look at this. Look at this. It, it leaps and bounds ahead of the Z1R. Uh, this is the holy grail. Uh, if you want to have a ship it for you or um, help you with the financing, we do financing in house. Yeah, anywhere in the states, inexpensively. Message your zip code for a shipping quote, license insured, and enclosed. I broker all the transports here. You can eBay message or call me on my cell, 860 471 0192. And Freedom Road Financial loans out on all of our classic motorcycles, same day funding. You can call me on my cell, 860 471 0192. We can do a pre application. Uh, those guys are open uh, six days a week. If you stuck with us this long, now you get to hear it run. I promise you, we ride it. I'm going to take it for a nice little demo. Um, I did notice a scratch on the chrome here on the turn signal also. I wanted to point that out. A couple chips in the paint, but like Junior said, this thing's original, and they're only original once. A little bit of chrome peeling on the, uh, on the um, brake lever, but uh, it's as nice or nicer than the one we sold, and it's got low miles, so and they're only original once. One of the things we forgot to add was that the one we sold for 18.5 was pre-COVID, so that was years ago. Um, the one that sold for 25,000 was on Bring a Trailer last year. I thought I thought we sold it last year, but Junior said it was pre-COVID. I don't know there's a lot of bikes come through here. I don't remember them all. Get up so you can hear it run. the tuning of this here um i think it needs a little to be fine-tuned jetting for these pod filters gerard did it himself um but we sold a, quite a few of his bikes and we display a bunch of the museum so i know he did it it just seems to be a little cold-blooded if you will are good um, it's missing the button for the top of the, the uh, high low switch button and um, the carburetors are, are not quite right but uh, I think I think junior said that uh, Gerard was gonna um, jet the cars one more time but we're listening as is so I, I wouldn't I can't uh, say for sure if that's the case or not but it does run clutch transmission gears everything works beautifully and uh, it's a low mileage original survivor, so you'd be hard pressed to find a nicer one. My experience is that they run, without changing the jetting, it runs a little bit lean with these pod filters on there. If you had the stock air box and pipe on it, it'd probably run perfect. But um, again, this is Gerard's bike. We're representing it for him to the best of our ability. So um, hopefully uh, that answers all your questions. If you have any other questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.